Hello everybody, and welcome today to this tutorial on how to calculate averages in Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet software created by Microsoft. Calculating averages is a very important function of Excel, as it takes the long calculations of multiple different numbers of breeze. It also makes calculating weighted averages much, much easier. The first thing I'm going to do is set up 10 columns for each and every one of the grades that we will be recording today. After setting up the 10 columns, the next thing I have to do is to get the numbers that I will be calculating the averages of, of course. For our purpose, we will be using four different categories of grades, tests, quizzes, homework, and participation. On the right side of the numbered columns, I'm also going to put the headers for average and weight. When I'm finished with that, I can start adding my grades for the quizzes category. The grades for the quizzes will be 85, 93, 84, 100, 100, 75, 90, 80, 90, and another 100. The grades for the three tests will be 88, 92, and 95. The participation grade, which is going to be out of 30, will be a 29 out of 30. Next, I'm going to add the homework grades, which will be all 100 to 150. The next thing I'll be doing is averaging out each category. So what I'm going to do is use the average function of Excel to calculate the averages in each one of these columns. After doing that, I'm going to drag and select the area that I want to be averaged and then hit enter for each time that I'm doing it for each category. After getting the averages for each category, I'm going to multiply by 100 to get a grade. After doing this for each category, homework, participation, tests, and quizzes, I'll have the average for the category, but I will not have the weighted average. Next, I'm going to put in the weights for each category, which will be tests at 50%, quizzes at 20%, and homework and participation both at 15%. Finally, I'm going to add up all of the weighted averages, which I'm going to multiply by the weight and then add each category so that I'll get the final average. Once I've done that, I should have my weighted average, which will be around a 93. And so, that's how you calculate a weighted average. This can be very useful to you if you are a high school or college student who likes to stay updated on their grades. It can also be very useful and helpful to teachers who need to keep grades for their students. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped you understand and explain the way to calculate a weighted average.